every one of us has the experience of either receiving a grade or assigning a grade to a student. Before I talk more, I would like to introduce this quotation from Albert Einstein. Um, not everything that counts can be counted, and not everything that can be counted counts. If I connect a grade to the wisdom of Einstein, one question will pop up. What counts for a grade? This is what my thesis aims to find out. And more specifically, my study investigates what has been counted for a grade. I used to believe that my grades reflected my achievement and my achievement only. So did my mom. If I told her that I got a D for my course, she would just ask me, that's how much you have learned with my money? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Researchers have implied that the information a grade carries may not be as simple as what it looks like, either a letter or a number symbol. They suggested that teachers try to involve many types of information besides achievement into a grade, say students' attendance and effort. So in my study, I included both achievement and non-achievement factors. Achievement factors refer to the percentage of learning objectives a student had mastered. And non-achievement factors included a student's attendance, effort, progress, and ability. Then I build these factors into real life scenarios and ask the teachers to assign a grade to each of the students described in each scenario. Results show that teachers involved the non-achievement factors in their grades. So for example, if you have mastered 90% of the learning objectives, your final grade would be 85, just because you didn't attend all of the classes. In addition, among four non-achievement factors, teachers were found to put the greatest value on attendance and then effort, followed by progress and ability. So you see, many factors have counted for a grade, so the grade becomes an indicator of everything instead of an indicator of achievement only. Now, if we go back to what Einstein has said, we must pay attention to two points. One, non-achievement factors, such as effort, progress, and ability, are by nature uncountable. Two, if a grade is an indicator of everything, then it will be an indicator of nothing. Imagine that you are sending your transcripts to universities, employers, scholarship, and the research funding committees. How will they interpret your grades? Will they say, well, that's how much a student has mastered? Or will they just shrug their shoulders and shake their heads, thinking a grade is like a box of chocolates? You never know what you're going to get. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>